fish on field. Got him? Yeah, Good. man, I got him. Good Woo. deal. All right, Good Lake deal. Oconee, largemouth bass, and it's coming your way. Folks, welcome to our show this week. Our destination, <laughs> Lake Oconee, Georgia, and my guide today and our guest host <laughs> is going to be Phil Osborne from Newburn, Georgia. This is his hometown lake. When's the last time you ever saw a TV show, nonetheless fishing, from Lake Oconee? I can't say I have, but that's part of our destination program this week. Lake Oconee, we got this and a whole lot more on this week's Bob Redford's Outdoor Magazine. Great recipe in the kitchen. Got a great Good wingman deal. here on bass fishing. <laughs> Don't touch that remote. And Phil, let's get it, Bo. All I'm right, going to get this go. fish out of here right now. Good deal. Yeah, Good man. Deal. And he will, oh man, Bo sets the treble hooks. <laughs> He'll ah. keep anyway. Look at him. Woo! Folks, Red Fernet took a deer like this before. Go fish, go. You can take him, <laughs> fish. There you go. Take it, Jeffrey. Yeah, all right. This is the proof in the pudding. Did you see that fish come out of that water? <laughs> Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is brought to you by Chevrolet and Chevy Trucks, the official vehicle of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is brought to you by Shakespeare, the official tackle company of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. On this week's Chevy Destination, we head to Lake Oconee, located off of I-20 between Augusta and Atlanta, Georgia. Oconee is a Creek Indian name meaning Great Waters. It is the second largest lake in Georgia. According to the Georgia Department of Natural Resources, there is an estimated 355 pounds of fish per acre. That's two and a half times more fish than any other lake in the southeast. It's considered by fishermen to be the most fertile lake in Georgia. For your next outdoor destination, be sure you're part of an American Revolution with Chevy Trucks. Let's take a look at this week's fishing gear and weather report. Fish on, Phil. fish on, fish on, man. Here he is. <laughs> Come on, Bo. This is a striker, I believe. He's going deep water, a little hybrid. Well, look, I got to tell you, and folks, when <laughs> Phil gets his up. A little hybrid. A little, a little hybrid, hybrid, and then I got a, a little, little hybrid. You'll you see got that. a real big look, one. I got a big one. Look at there. Huh? Now, I don't know if we can weigh that one. That's a real <laughs> Lake Oconee. Well, well, here's an Oconee hybrid. And they now, look, how big would those fish get in this lake? There are some good 10 and 12 pounders in here. Is that for right? For sure. Wow. Yeah. And uh, catch them on them humps down the lake in the hot summertime with uh -huh. a DD-22 and stuff. Yep. Yep. You can... You can sock them up, and a lot of guys troll down here with uh, DD-22s and, and pull a jig behind that. Well, you know, I tell you, one of the great things about a lot of lakes is that where you can crankbait, because right. there's not a lot of hydrilla and a lot of, a lot of weeds, I love crankbait, okay? Right. But there's so many lakes uh, across the country that you're really not able to do that anymore. Well, there's not much grass in this lake at all, so there's plenty of striper and hybrids, that's for sure. Well, that's a good thing. Well, that ain't a large mouth, but hey, but it's a fish. It's a fish. Huh? I tell you. When they bend, when they bend the rod tip, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, man. All right, well, let's see if we can't get enough. All right, we'll do that. Good deal. It that, can't be just one. That one right there, no. There's more here. That one <laughs> right there just kept hitting, kept hitting, finally got it. <laughs> 